Hey everybody, Aaron from the Best Family Homestead. So we got a few projects we're gonna be doing today. One, we're gonna finish this last part, not the big poplars, is uh, the second biggest one. We're gonna get that finished up. Uh, and we gotta do some cleanup before we start cutting. Uh, you can take a look at this. I've got sawdust here. Pretty, pretty deep. So we're gonna have to dig at this out. Uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of what I do with that sawdust. Uh, got some plans, show you where I put it, and I've got some plans to show you how, how to turn sawdust into compost. Like I showed you earlier today, you can see a little bit better without the tractor there. Lots and lots of sawdust cleanup. And my and Robert's lunch and snacks and stuff here. But I just thought I'd show you all that is two logs. All that wood. Come stand in front of that so we can see just, just how much that is. That is just two logs worth of lumber right there. And we still have a lot more logs to go. This isn't much fun, but we gotta clean up sawdust before we can start cutting again. So I decided to show you guys what I was talking about when I said a lot of sawdust. This is two logs. Might not look like that from that angle. But this is 
two logs. This is a whole lot of sawdust. Probably about four foot across, probably about three foot, two foot high. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have a lot of it. That's only two logs worth. <clears throat> and I'm gonna turn a lot of it into compost and then a lot of it will be going to going to chicken coop floor and that kind of stuff. So now we've got the next not really fun part of having a sawmill, but we got to keep her going. So let's do some maintenance. So we've got this thing uh, oiled down, all cleaned up, ready to go. Now I've had a few people ask me about the blades, uh, comment about the blades and how you sharpen them. So I've got this handy little jig with all these uh, pins in here. So all I do is I'm going to hook this up to my drill and spin it, sharpen it, and repeat. And that's about all it takes. So now we'll just put it on time lapse and repeat the process five more times. 